Hi, it's about 1975, and today I'm bringing you a really dangerous video. I'm just going to ramble on about some topics that have come up lately uh, while you watch some footage of me murking some NPCs in my FDL. I've got to say, five overcharged multi cannons is a decent amount of firepower in any ship. Um, I don't, still don't like this ship, but it's a decent amount of firepower. Um, until the Chieftain and Type 10 come out, it'll do. And hopefully, the Chieftain and Type 10 can steal some of the parts off it so I don't have to re engineer stuff. And that's actually the first topic I want to talk about. Uh, in quarter one of next year, they're planning to update engineers. They've done a live stream on it. They've come up with some quite interesting ideas and concepts. Um, they've asked for some feedback. And um, I've got to say, overall, I'm fairly interested in the direction they're moving in. I still think they could remove some of the grind element from engineers. In fact, I think they have done to a certain extent while getting rid of bribes. So you no longer bribe an engineer for an experimental effect. You actually just pay straight out materials for an um, effect which is quite good because then you don't have to waste all those materials going from like um, tier 3 back up to tier 5 every time you want to put an experimental effect on a weapon um, they're also removing secondary effects from things which is interesting so you won't get the god roll and then get it distracted from by some really bad negative effect um, that happened to me on one of my FSDs got like a god roll but the mass was huge, <laughs> which made it pointless. So, it, kind of interesting ideas they've come up with, some interesting concepts. Um, and I'm kind of like, okay with the way they're moving on that one. I'm okay with the way they're moving on crime and punishment. I think it's some interesting systems. I think, to be honest, the karma system is the one I'm waiting for more. Um, I think that one will have a bigger impact on the player base and have a bigger impact on... Uh, day to day life and elite dangerous for a lot of people um, because you know a karma system that punishes players for you know certain activities is going to be the bigger one it's what those activities are that they punish you for and also what punishments and forms of punishment they decide to take so the karma system is the one I'm waiting for most the current punishment one it is what it is it's, you know whatever they choose to do I don't really care to be honest because a, I'm not, much, I'm not that much of a criminal, and um, B, it doesn't really affect me day to day and what I get up to in Elite Dangerous. Um, maybe if I get back into PvP and stuff like that, then it would, but at this point it doesn't. And um, it is quite um, interesting some of the stances they're taking and some of the things they're doing. Um, the only thing that um, I'm not sure about, and I'm really not sure about, is the fact that they're still pushing this Thargoid storyline so hard. Um, I don't really know that many players that are like really deeply immersed in the Thargoid storyline or care that much about the Thargoids. Um, I'm, it's, the community girls for the uh, weaponry for Thargoids is dropping off. The, um, the, the interest in Thargoids full stop. I mean, they're quite good fun to dodge around while you're picking up materials, but it's kind of like Frontier have got sidetracked on this one-dimensional thing. They want, you know, this is what we're doing. We're doing aliens. That's what we're doing, and they're pushing that and pushing that storyline. Um, you look at the community goals. They've all, you know, so many of them have been Thargoid related. Um, you know, it just seems to be that general push in that direction, and their worry is the detriment of other things and. I would much rather uh, focus on player activities and player groups and player factions and maybe even refreshing of power play. You know, pushing the Fargoid storyline I think is something that I could do without. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'm taking my FDL back to port and I get a reminder of what ship I would prefer to be in. Um, and that's it. That's just my little ramble on. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think the Fargoid storyline is being pushed too much? How much you're looking forward to the tweaks and changes to engineers? Just let me know in the comments down below. And that's all. Thank you very much for watching.